is uh, the video solution of the practical part of advanced computer skills exam number 20 let's start with the SPSS you obviously copy all the files on your desktop and now open the SPSS file quiz.sav it's designed for SPSS 18 first point display an appropriate description graphical numerical for nationality if you look at the code book which you have printed at exam it's uh, a nominal variable so its a graphical description is either the bar plot or the pie chart I prefer the pie chart in this case but the bar plot is okay okay and uh, a numerical description it's clearly the frequencies so don't use descriptive statistic but use frequencies okay now test whether the median of daily expenditure is 80 daily expenditure is a scale variable so analyze it's a test on the median so it's a non-parametric test one sample first of all remove all the variables from here SPSS decides that you should use all of them you should use instead only this one P14 okay. uh, then uh, customize test this is the sign test options custom cut point uh, 80 run retain the null hypothesis check whether having visited the beaches 16.8 depends on sex these are two nominal variables in order to check it the only test which you can do is the contingency table with a key square test so we will build a contingency table so sex doesn't matter what you put in rows and what you put in columns visited beaches statistics key square continue ok build two appropriate graphs for variable expenditure souvenirs P17.3 this variable is scale so the two appropriate graphs are clearly the histogram without normal curve please let's make it larger expenditure souvenirs okay you can see the graph is very bad because there's somebody who spent two thousand and another person spent five hundred dollars graph chart builder the other graph is the box plot this one the single variable box plot same thing it's all squeezed here filter out the subject which spend more than two hundred dollars in souvenirs so two hundred dollars or more in souvenirs so we have to include only the subject which spend less than two hundred dollars it's here data select cases expenditure souvenirs smaller than 200 continue other cases are filtered okay now in order to avoid forgetting I will save the file as cruise.spv currently it's on my desktop piccoletti cruise dot don't put dot sub automatically you will put dot spv okay and uh, by the way i save also the data file oh, oh too many things filtered out let's see whether i've committed a mistake or not p17.3 smaller than 200 well, it's correct okay okay save save sort the data in reverse souvenirs expenditure order to check that the filtering is performed correctly data sort data 
descending. Let's see, yes, the first three. And I imagine all the other filtered are people who declare that they have spent nothing. Okay, so, so for whom the variable is missing. Okay, now save and save. Create new variable p14g with appropriate measure which groups variable daily expenditure p14 into these categories. So, the typical way it's this one, record into different variable p14 into p14g, change all the new values, system and user missing go to zero, moreover at zero goes to zero, Uh, up from 0 to 10 it goes to 1 in this case you can wonder what happens to 0 well since in this case the first one is the one which uh, rules so from 0 to 0 0 goes to 0 if you have another 0 here it's not included because it's already included here so the first rule it's the one which works from 10 to 50 and this means that 10 is excluded because it's already included here go to true and uh, uh, value to highest so 50 to highest go to 3 if you want you can do all other values continue continue okay save now let's change the measure also it's not scale, it's ordinal. Okay, the labels zero, no, one, low, two, average, three, high. It's not necessary to have two digits, it's not necessary to have eight digits here. Okay, save. Build an appropriate regression model to predict whether the subject has visited the castle based on education, age, and daily expenditure. By no logistic. Because visited the castle, it's nominal and it has two values, yes, no. So based on education, age, and expenditure. A daily expenditure, so P40. Okay. Okay, here are the results. Build an index using these eight variables. If you take a look at these eight variables, they are all ordinal, with the difference that the P18s go from 1 to 5 and the P19s from 1 to 4. This is usually a very bad uh, choice when building a questionnaire because then you have variables with different scales so when you build the index index it's open the big external parenthesis then p18.1 minus 1 plus this is because p18.1 starts from 1 same thing for 18.2 same thing for 18.3 and same thing for 18.4 I now copy everything here clearly if you don't use copy and paste you stay 3 hours ok close the big parenthesis divided by how much? well without doing the calculation mentally let's do the calculation here P18 goes from 1 to 5 minus 1 it's 4 so 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 the other one goes from 1 to 4 minus 1 it's 3 ok ok and let's take a look at this index just to be sure yes it goes from 0 to 1 save save build a box plot for P14 by P5 with vertical axis going blah 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 so a box plot, this one now, P14 by P5, 
this is the box plot however the vertical axis should go up to 250 so 250 and elementary shall be excluded so categories elementary excluded file close now we have to export this one into cruise.doc so I just select it right click export check that the file is the right one so go to your desktop cruise save selected word okay now I don't trust uh, SPSS so I check myself that it really exists yes it exists okay now the exercise is over we save everything and we close SPSS okay check that everything has been saved and everything has the correct date